Welcome to the Cat's Garage. I'm Dirk. Uh, you can check me out on all the forums, uh, Subaru Wise as Razoron, also on Instagram as Razoron. But anyway, uh, today working on the 2.5 RS here and Project 22 Wannabe. Uh, and I'm installing the quick latch hood pin uh, system here. Get back on the interstate, so Installing the quick latch hood pin uh, system here. So, as you can see, I haven't adjusted this one yet. Kind of give you a look underneath here. So, I'm going through the radiator uh, support uh, cross beam there. And this one here, I've already adjusted down. Uh, this is just a tip and trick. Uh, it's not listed in the instructions to do it this way, but uh, just kind of give you a heads up on the particular size that I have. Uh, there's a couple of things that weren't in the instructions and uh, something to think about is doing a pilot hole uh, smaller than what they actually recommend uh, or measuring out I should say on the top here where you want it uh, there's a hole underneath here let me unlatch that and I have to unlatch that one this one's not on yet as I've said I'm adjusting these but Anyway, neither one of these is attached right now. I'm just adjust, adjusting the height that I want these at. As you can see it in there, in there. Because it is uh, kind of nerve wracking to drill holes into your hood, especially when it's the only one that you have. So there you go, there you go. This one's not adjusted yet. So I'm still working on that one and I finally got that one adjusted down. So it uh, actually sits flush. But anyway, there was two small holes in here, about, uh, they're about that size right there, that matched up with the two dimples right there. Sorry I'm moving this camera kind of fast, I'm trying to keep this video somewhat short. And there's a dimple there on that side, there's a dimple there on this side. Yes, this side looks different because the car had hit a deer at one point in time and I uh, ended up fixing all that. But anyway. So there's these two small holes right here. They're recessed down. And my recommendation would be take a small drill bit and drill yourself a pretty much a guide hole because you're going to end up using a hole saw and you're gonna cut some big holes here. Uh, anyway, so use that, use a long, small drill bit, drill a little guide hole all the way up into the middle there. And then you're going to need come on this side and with the smaller drill bit in better yet find out if you, whatever your hole saw is whatever the drill bit size for your hole saw that's my recommendation use whatever size drill bit goes in between and the middle of your hole saw use that size as your guide coming up through the hood that's going to give you your center hole then you're going to use a one and a quarter inch hole saw to punch through the top of the hood on both sides then you're going to come back to this side and let me put up the hood prop so this way I'm not holding the hood at the same time. On this side you're going to use a two and a half inch hole saw. Now don't go just pushing super hard because this hole here is going to be larger than your hole saw drill bit. So you're going to have some walking so you want to line it up nice and easy and just go really slow with the drill to let it start eating into 
the metal. Once it starts getting a nice line start to develop, because this is all very uneven, it's not a flat surface. Once it starts to get a nice line going, then you can apply a little bit more pressure. Also, another tip and trick, moving blanket. Awesome. Cover your entire engine compartment. That's what I ended up doing. I took a moving blanket, cover this entire engine compartment. Up past the window, go up underneath here, drag it all the way down here, have a vacuum cleaner standing by ready to go. Because once you start drilling into this with the hole saw, metal flakes are gonna go everywhere. Another thing is, get yourself a stereo magnet. These things are not listed in the tools. Get these things. They will help you out. I am just trying to give you some tips and tricks to help you along the way. Uh, but anyway, you're gonna get metal flakes everywhere. Highly recommended, wear safety glasses, wear a face mask, wear long sleeves, because these little burrs that are coming off here are gonna be extremely hot. Not that it really bothered me, but it is annoyance when you're sitting there trying to get that work done and you have these little bits of metal on you that are extremely hot burning your skin. But uh, anyway, so once you get those holes drilled in, you're going to come down here. You're going to drill these in as well. Uh, let's see if i got my drill bits over here. I can tell you my uh, drill bit size that I ended up using for those. I want to say it was a uh, 5 16 Correction, it was the 3 8 It's the 3 8 The 3 8 is the same size as this here. So the holes you're going to drill through here are going to be 3 8 Once again, take that moving blanket. If you have all this stuff out of the way, which is recommended because you don't want to take your drill bit and accidentally go through and hit your radiator or anything like that, put your moving blanket down through here because once again, metal shavings everywhere. Uh, an annoyance they get everywhere and all that stuff but pop your hole through put them in leave them long so this way you can adjust them while they're in the hole for instance I mean this here I've already adjusted down somewhat down to this length but uh, this was actually sticking up about like that high earlier so when I had my hood down it's sticking out I can line it up I can tweak this a little bit uh, just by hand pressure and so this way I can get those centered up in the hole. Uh, the quick latch system does give you a availability of, uh, I can't remember how many degrees, it's on their website for each one of their latches. Uh, just make sure that you read that carefully. Once again, this is a 2000 Subaru Impreza 2.5 RS. So uh, this definitely works on this. I would think it would be pretty much the same across the board, but this is a universal product so so far so good uh, all right you're gonna get a different view here for a second while I'm realigning so my other tip and trick for doing this is once you have these things lined up and yes it's not pretty but uh, what I ended up doing is I took a file cleaned all the burrs off and like I said it's not extremely pretty but uh, I ended up to prevent rusting and everything else, I ended up taking Eastwood's uh, chassis coat, taped everything off. Once again, this is a race car, it's not a show car. I don't care about how pretty it is right now. This is for me to just take out to the track and have fun with. But anyway, uh, this is the product I use right here. Eastwood's Extreme Chassis Black. So uh, spraying it, just light coats back and forth. Uh, light coats, just quick like half a second squirts inside the hole moving it around uh, make sure you continuously shake up the can if you're turning it upside down like this because you're going to start clearing out that nozzle if you're turning it uh, best thing to do is because you're going to have it all taped off is just kind of work your way around it once again moving blanket underneath catches all the paint you don't have to worry about paint getting all over all your stuff inside your engine compartment but then lift your hood up same thing chassis coat Bam, bam, bam. Get all that bare metal that you've just created and everything else. I also sprayed uh, a little bit up underneath this direction just to prevent any type of 
uh, bare metal from being exposed from anything that I might not have seen. So yes, and it is shiny. So that is not bare metal you're seeing. It's just shiny black. Even though it's a satin finish, it still shines. But anyway, there you go. That's that portion of it. Now, back to the point that the video originally started on. So like I said, I've already, I've already uh, showed this one. So when it's popped out like this, you know you're locked in. You gotta push it down in order to uh, pop it. This one here has not been adjusted yet, hence the large gap. But my recommendation is leave it loose, click it into place, because, and put your hood down to where it's gonna be. So I am gonna be putting the stock catch back in with the, uh, the lever to hook right here, just as a safety precaution. I'm, I've already removed all the other springs and everything else. This is just, so when I pop these, or if these were ever to give way, I have at least a couple seconds to hit the brakes when my hood pops up. So these shouldn't, these are rated for uh, 500 pounds each. Um, so it should be more than enough to uh, handle any driving needs that I'm uh, gonna have. But anyway, I put it on there. I loosen up by reaching underneath here. And once again, this is the reason why you should have the radiator removed. You can reach up underneath here. Try to get my camera up in there, I can't. But uh, as you can see my finger right there, wiggling. Turn that top screw, loosen it up, and then start turning this here, or pulling it down, turning, and then tighten the bottom one until your latch is secured to the to the hood, uh, what's it called in a, a bonnet, depending on what country you're from. So over on this side, once again, reach on the back side. Uh, let's see if I can get it on the video. I probably can't, oh, there we go. Take your fingers, turn it, keep turning it so you can so there you go, pull it down. Once it's pulled down, as tight as you can get it. Get it adjusted. And then you're gonna tighten up that bottom nut right there. And once you do that, they should be in place and you should have your hood latches in. Uh, make sure that you also check for fitment that these aren't gonna be pushing into your radiator. When you do put your radiator in, uh, these should be far enough away. However, if they're not, feel free to cut off the very uh, bottom portion of the uh, bolt here. They also send some weeping uh, thread lock with the kit. So you're gonna put that in. And once again, these aren't fastened on, but that's what that two and a half inch hole is. You put your retaining rings on to the uh, to the actual bottom of these once it's all adjusted. So there's my tips and tricks for getting these on and adjusted and where you need them to be and in place and getting your height correct for your latches. Anyway, I uh, kept the video underneath 15 minutes. If you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button. Hopefully uh, I've, I've uh, at least provided you with some good tips and tricks. And once again, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. It helps me out. It shows me that you uh, that you want these videos and I'll keep them coming. And uh, once again, drive safe. Let me know what you're working on and leave a comment down below if you like. All right, y'all take care and drive safe. There you go. There's the quick latch system. This system here, it's push it in. Once it pops, bam. There you go. There you go. There you go, and there you go. So, and then put it back down. They click, they're flush, it's locked. All right, there you go, thanks for watching, and take care, drive safe, later.